Good morning, everyone. Well, a true wintry mix over northwest Indiana today. I think we're going to see all of the precipitation types today. So let's get to all the details in your winter storm update sponsored by NIPSCO. 8 a.m. this morning, mostly rain. But I do have to mention, in the most northern part of the area, Gary, Hammond, Portage, Michigan City. See that shade of purple showing up where temperatures are in the low 30s? A little bit of snow mixing in with the rain there, but for most, just rain, especially where temperatures are in the mid-30s. But then look how it is all snow over the city. So this could very well be a situation if you're driving into Chicago this morning, you start out in rain, and then suddenly it changes over to snow with that rain snow line right on the border of Indiana and Illinois. Also, already breezy out there this morning and staying breezy all day long, gusts 20, 25 miles per hour. So a wind chill factor throughout the day of about five degrees. Let's take a look at lunchtime. And I think it's more of the same, still mostly rain for us, but still the possibility of a rain snow mix in the most northern part of the area as indicated by the shade of purple. But again, notice the wording here is still mostly rain at noon. And notice even around Chicago, how uh, the purple is starting to show. It's not just blue because it looks like uh, some warmer air working in a loft that's actually going to change from the snow over to rain, and actually some other precipitation types. So still mostly rain in Northwest Indiana at noon, but now we're gonna stop at three o'clock because by three o'clock, though it's a possibility of rain, freezing rain or sleet. It could be either of those, all three of those. I think the most likely precipitation from about three o'clock this afternoon to six o'clock this afternoon is actually freezing rain, particularly where those temperatures are below freezing now, probably coming down as rain, but then changing over to ice. So particularly about a three hour window from three to six o'clock, where ice accumulation is a possibility now because it's just a three hour window where it's mostly gonna be freezing rain. Good news is we're not talking about a lot of ice accumulation. We're talking about less than a 10th of an inch. So what we're talking about is, yes, the possibility of some ice on your windshield that you might have to scrape off, uh, some ice accumulation, a glaze on plants, a glaze of ice on your outdoor furniture, and some isolated icy spots on roads, isolated icy spots, especially bridges, overpasses, the most likely place where some icy spots may develop, but not widespread icy roads, okay? This is three o'clock. Now we're gonna jump ahead to six o'clock because by six o'clock, though it's a possibility of freezing rain, sleet, or snow, I think at six o'clock, sleet, is the most likely thing that'll be coming down. Ice pellets. Also, I gotta mention, we might even see some grapple, those little dipping dots. <laughs> That's a possibility. Particularly, uh, the window for sleep looks like six o'clock this afternoon until nine o'clock this evening, as temperatures come down a little bit more. Finally, at nine o'clock, though sleep, grapple still a possibility, I think it's mostly going to be snow coming down at nine o'clock as temperatures drop even more. This is a cold front that is working over us. That's why temperatures coming down and it is still scattered precipitation at nine o'clock by this time point, mostly snow. And by the time we get to 2 a.m., we're done with the scattered precipitation. It's all snow, but now it's time for lake affect snow. So look at the band of snow. Look how a lot dry, but a band of snow over Lake County in particular, and a little bit in Newton County. And I actually think behind the cold front, because we are past the cold front now, the winds are going to increase even more. And there's going to be a period where it's just going to be flat out windy uh, during the overnight hours and into early tomorrow morning, gusts 30. 35 miles per hour. So now even more of a wind chill factor. Take 10 degrees off these temperatures and that's what it's gonna be feeling like. So yeah, feeling like the mid-teens. All right, so let's track the lake effects though. This is 2 a.m. So very late tonight and now we're looking at the morning commute tomorrow. And it looks like by this point the band of lake effects snow will be over 
Porter and Jasper County. So very well could be dry in Lake and Newton County. That band of snow gradually moving to the east. So particularly if you're in Porter County, Jasper County, LaPorte County, got to mention the chance of snow still for the morning commute, but areas to the west, good chance it'll just be some flurries or dry. Still windy for the morning commute tomorrow. Finally, finally by 11 a.m. tomorrow morning, we are done with the flurries, completely dry in northwest Indiana. The lake effect snow, gone. And not windy anymore. I <laughs> when the snow finally comes to an end, just breezy, but staying breezy into the afternoon and barely warming up at all. Look at high temperatures tomorrow in the mid 20s, 10 to 15 degrees below normal for this time of year. And it's really only gonna be feeling like the upper teens, low 20s, since it's still gonna be breezy. Okay, so how much snow? Well, two things going into this snowfall forecast. First, because temperatures are going to drop first, it's gonna be the coldest in the northwestern part of the area. And because we're dealing with lake effect snow, particularly in the northern part of the area, the highest snowfall totals are going to be to the north and west, and the smallest snowfall totals are going to be to the south and east. So, I know I'm not showing Newton and Jasper County on this map, but if you're in Newton and Jasper County, we're talking about as little as a dusting, at most an inch, and those one inch totals are most likely in the northern part of Newton and Jasper County. Also notice, just a dusting to an inch, Laporte, Hannah, but Michigan City, Wheatfield, Schneider, one to two inches of snow expected. Crown Point, Valparaiso, Portage, two to three inches of snow. And I think the sweet spot is gonna be around Gary and Hammond, and also into Chicago. That's where we're expecting three to four inches of snow.